hello. I'm really excited to talk to you about um, the expansion of the project. As you know, the project up until now was based in the Brazilian Pantanal, which is the world's largest freshwater wetland. It's also a well-preserved biome and we have been working there for five years. Thanks to the Whitley Award, we have been able to expand our activities now to another biome, the Cerrado, which, uh, through which I'm driving right now. Now, contrary to the Pantanal that's well preserved, the, the Cerrado biome has experienced many changes, especially over the last 35 years. The agricultural expansion here has been immense. Uh, pasture, uh, deforestation for pasture, eucalyptus plantations, sugarcane, um, soy, corn. Lots of different activities are taking place, lots of different economic activities are taking place here. And what happens is that the, the, the habitat is now extremely fragmented. A recent study has shown that only 20% of the native vegetation is left. And of that, um, and, and that is, it, it is extremely fragmented, and the average fragment size is actually only about 10 hectares. So as you can see, this is a, uh, a really, uh, a biome that is, has been experiencing a lot of threats, and that is experiencing a lot of threats. But it is also an important biome for the giant armadillo. Giant armadillos are found typically in the Cerrado. So one of the main objectives of the project is, is um, of this first step of the project is to find out how many giant armadillos are left in the Cerrado and where. So where are they still occurring? Are there still viable populations in the, in the, the Cerrado of our state, Mato Grosso do Sul? Where are they found? Um, uh, and so, for that, we are mapping uh, the distribution of these animals uh, in, in our state. Now, what does that entail? That entails um, a lot of mapping work, so identifying... That was a giant anteater vehicle collision. So, what we're, we're now um, looking at is performing a mapping exercise where we go look into fragments and look into many different areas go sample and go look for evidence of giant armadillos. Burrows, feeding holes, tracks, anything to point out the evidence. And we will plot that in the map. And through modeling, we can actually model the, the potential distribution of the species. And we'll keep going to the field to verify that. And then we can find out where giant armadillos are still found and where, what are the key areas that need to be protected um, to, to maintain viable populations of giant armadillos.